sis, if you just give me seven days of doing this, you will get a huge confidence boost. You're gonna get some kind of result and it's gonna motivate you to keep going. What's up y'all? It's your girl Makita back with another video and I'm just gonna jump right into it. Most of the time, if you're not getting the results that you desire on your weight loss journey, it is more than likely because of your lack of consistency. If we don't see the scale go down as fast as we want, we give up. If it gets too hard, we give up. If it's getting a little uncomfortable for us, we give up. It is our lack of consistency is why we're not getting results. So I'm gonna give you a quick hack on how you can boost your consistency. First of all, consistency is like a muscle that you build. You cannot expect to go to the gym for three to four days and all of a sudden you have these huge muscles. You understand that I have to go to the gym and work out at least four to eight weeks before I start to see any kind of result. results. What makes you think is any different than building consistency muscles? You have to build your build that area in your life, okay? So what I suggest that you do is pick one thing to focus on for seven or even seven to maybe even 10 days. That, and I want you to focus on something that you can do with at least 90% commitment. Do not pick something that is so far-fetched that you know it's not gonna be attainable. For example, you might pick every evening, I'm gonna go for a 10 to 15 minute walk. Close the door, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a 10 to 15 minute walk. If that is something that you can foresee yourself doing with 90% consistency, make a commitment to do it. It is a non-negotiable, okay? What's gonna happen is if you can commit to doing that for seven days, I can promise you, you're gonna feel really good about yourself. You're gonna be like, look at me, I did it. Your family may even join in, your kids may join in. So you're gonna get some kind of feedback that's going to boost your confidence. And what's gonna happen is, you're going to wanna to continue doing it. See, it starts with action, you get a small result, and you get motivated, okay? Then, what you can do is layer something on top of that. Do not start a new habit until you've proven to yourself that you can be committed and be consistent with the first habit. So then you'll layer another habit on top of that. Maybe you'll say, okay, I walked for seven days. I'm gonna keep that up. Now, maybe I might increase the time to 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Or you might even say, okay, this week I'm gonna walk every day for 10 minutes and I'm also gonna eat a healthy breakfast every day. And again, you wanna pick a habit at first that you can commit to with at least 90% accuracy. So yes, is that going to, are you gonna have a slow progress getting going? Absolutely, but if this is your lifestyle, does it really matter? You want to build healthy habits that's going to keep the weight off and you wanna start with building consistency and building momentum along the way. So what habit can you focus on with at least 90% commitment? Let me know in the comment box so I can cheer you on. And if this video was helpful, please make sure you give it a like and share it with a friend and I will see you in the next video.